You may wonder why I would let this come to pass. So many dead, and likely more to follow. An empire reduced to rubble. A prince cast to the streets and hunted like a common criminal. But I had seen the timeline. And of all the outcomes lay bare to me, this one held the most promise of the moment. For the prince would have an opportunity to set things right. Watch now. See the thing of which I speak. Now where did I put those... Zervan? What is it? In case I don't get the chance again. You impudent pig! I offer you life eternal and this is how you respond? Oh, I shall enjoy changing you. Hello, Prince. Not quite the homecoming you expected. perhaps, but not invincible. You will pay for what you have done to my people. Tantalum, things will be better now. You should thank me. They live among mindless monsters in service to your madness. It is the price of progress. to my arm. What?
This world was not meant for me, but there are others, and I will find my place just as you have found yours. Be free now, Prince. Your journey is at an end. What is it? All that is yours is rightfully mine. And mine it will be. What did you expect? That when you slew the vizier I would simply disappear? Oh, but you are so blind! Your rage, your pride, your selfish ways, they gave me form and substance! Even with the sands gone, I have the strength to remain. And with the vizier gone, I can take your place and rule the kingdom! And there is absolutely nothing you can do about it. Manipulate time itself. You had the chance to be the greatest king the world has ever known. What wars you could have fought. What monuments you could have erected in your honor. What women you could have kept. But you failed me, Prince. You grew soft and sympathetic. My attempts to convince you to seek glory fell on deaf ears. So I bided my time, waiting for the proper moment to strike. what you have been given. Control of the world's greatest empire. With the power at your command, you could rule the world. You have squandered it, Prince. I would do it justice, and so it should be mine. You are just a parasite! You deserve nothing! But don't I? Have I not earned it? Do you think you would be here now, if not for me? How many times did I save you? How many times did I unblock your path, take down your enemies, remind you of your mission, while all you did was cry about your father, and Kalina, and Pharaoh, how everything bad always happens to you? Boo-hoo, Prince! Your words are empty, have always been empty. You are just a desperate, selfish spirit. If I am selfish, Prince, it is because you are. If I am ruthless and reckless and lacking in morals, it is because you are. I did not spin myself out of the ether. I was not conjured by some mad vizier. I am you. No. I have seen the error of my ways. And I have atoned for the transgressions of my past. I am no longer that person. Seasons change. Tastes change. But to people... People never change, and you delude yourself believing otherwise. Do not fight me. Set down your sword. Embrace me.
you mean to kill me then? To cut me down like all your other enemies? Swing that sword, Prince! <laughs> We've seen how well that works. Such violence! Your anger serves only to feed me. So I have to ask, have you really changed? After all, I am still right here, standing before you! relinquish control yet. I have a kingdom to attend to. <laughs> By all means, I stay to fight. I, on the other hand, have a kingdom to Wake up. Wake up. Farah? Are you all right? I think... I think it's finally over. <sighs> Prince, there's still something I don't understand. How did you really know my name? Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I really am, and why I say this. Come, and I will tell you a tale like none you have ever heard. <laughs> 